Welcome to Iceland, the land of fire and ice. Join us as we explore this beautiful and breathtaking country. It is truly an otherworldly place. Good morning, Iceland. We got the van back there. Um, waking up to this great view. Um, we're going to the Secret Lagoon. It's a hot spring pool in an area I can't pronounce. Uh, we stayed at the Skull Campground. Uh, all night um it's not crazy cold outside but it, it it's cold um and just uh getting ready for a good day we have a bunch of stuff to go see so let's get started Oh, the bottom's like sand. What? The bottom's like sand. Like sand? Well, this is the secret lagoon. It's kind of crazy, actually. It's very warm. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a lot of insulation. <laughs> it's cool. We should go over there. I'm down. Ah! <laughs> Max can't see. <laughs> More than usual. <sighs> Alrighty, so this is the secret lagoon. Um, I think it's the oldest hot spring pool that you can swim in in Iceland. Um, bring it down somebody. <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it's 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 nice, honestly. Um, I don't know. If you look around, let me have it, buddy. Okay, great. There's the actual geothermal pools are over there and behind it here, over here. And, uh, that's what heats up this water. Um, the f the floor of this, the base, it's just rocks. Um, but it's very nice. Just a r relaxing thing to do in the cold weather. So yeah, quite enjoyable. All right. So all the heat is coming. Look out, Max! I can't see where I'm from. Right over here, there's like a little like stream that's like flowing into it, and it's very, very hot water. We went by it, um, but the pool recycles the water through it, so it's like fresh, like every twenty. Four hours, which is kind of neat. So yeah, Max still is not able to see. Can't see what? Anything? Yeah, I thought you were pointing something out. I'm sorry. No. I have caught and paid but attention. Fortunately, this is very nice. Okay. Here's the actual hot stuff. Yeah, quite the view out. Onto the countryside. No one through the thicket. The bubbling. Oh, well, you can smell the sulfur now. Wow. Oh God, it's so far. It's freezing. 
Max is frozen. I'm ready to jump in. Just go low. So these waters are like a hundred degrees on Celsius, which I have no clue what that means. It means it's hot. It means it's very hot. But uh it's pretty cool. Ninety to hundred degrees. Ninety to a hundred degrees Celsius, whatever that means. We're getting back in the warm water. It's too cold out. What's going on? What are we doing? food this is not an ordinary burger it is reindeer we're gonna dig in I'm excited reindeer burger Geothermal bakery, and we're getting a tour. And I guess we get to eat some. It's like bread and smoked salmon, and we just ate. But we're ready to eat some more. Um, I guess just stick around for the tour, and we'll uh, see what we see. And I'm ready for it. The crack that's actually ripping ice when it's two parts, so the, between the two tectonical plates. And um, we have like around two kilometers uh, down beneath our feet, we have uh, tons of lava, and um, the lava is pushing towards the surface. And sometimes, uh, today I think, yeah, we can see it not that good, but there, you see like the base of it, there's some clouds, but there's a volcano there. And uh, volcanoes are one of the things that happen when the lava is pushing towards the surface. And that is Ekla, it's, uh, it's called Ekla, it's one of the 32 active volcanoes in Iceland. And it's quite of a ticking bomb now because uh, like the, the last eruption it was in 2000 and it was, um, it's, it, it erupts uh, 10 to 10 years, so it's like 12 years late, it can happen anytime. Uh, and I, I've heard that um, it's a curious thing that we can feel it here a few hours before because this activity we, we have here gets weaker because all the energy goes there, so or much of the energy goes there and you can feel it here. So yeah, it can happen anytime. But sometimes it's just slightly undercooked and it's still good for you to eat, so and it, even if it is a bit overcooked. I prefer when it is undercooked. That's my taste. Yeah. Bubbling, so you can get closer to see how strong it is. So, kind of wow. wow. That's why. The ground is literally boiling. That is just super hot, isn't it? Boiling. So basically, this hot spring powers like the heat and electricity in this whole small 
town. Uh, he said it, it's like 200 some people here, which is nuts that just that spring can do all that. It's, it's kind of crazy. We got some rye bread from the ground, Icelandic butter, and smoked trout. Not salmon, because I said salmon before. Right out from the lake. And we're gonna go. That is raw fish. But the bread's really good. I love it. I'm gonna go, Max. Thoughts? It's not my thing, but it's pretty good. <laughs> Geothermal bread. Check. Now we're off to see some more waterfalls before it gets too dark. Then we'll have to find a camp. They said don't go chasing waterfalls, but we are not listening to that song. We love waterfalls. Jason needs some energy because he's tired. So I'm the only one that drives. Max <laughs> would literally drive. This man complains about driving all the time. I haven't complained once. You just did. The very first time. <laughs> so we were driving down the road and there was a bunch of cars parked so we were like what's that what could that be and we're at this big crater um it's pretty cool actually well what's it called big hole in the ground big hole in the ground But it's quite the view, so pretty cool. There's a mountain right here, covered in snow. That mountain is indeed a volcano. That volcano goes off every like 10 years and it hasn't gone off since like 2000. So it's about... She hasn't busted in 12 years. It was supposed to go off in 2010. So it's about 12 years late. So basically, it could burst whenever. And since it's been a while, it, it could be a big one. And uh, that, that, the area of Iceland that we are in is kind of where the tectonic plates from Europe and North America connect. So that's why there's so many volcanoes here and why it occurs so often. 32 active ones. There's thir yes, there's 32 active volcanoes in Iceland, which is crazy. This place could burn up like that.
walking up to a waterfall called Cellulance Falls. Uh, kind of hit it at the great at a great time of day, I think. Sun hitting it right, rainbow. Wow. What's so cool is you can walk behind it, right over up in there. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty beautiful. That's pretty, pretty beautiful. Uh, rainbow probably looks cool without the else. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. to get wet? I'm talking to you, man. I'll live. Right, come on, let's go. Freezing and soaked, but that was cool. 
best waterfall so far. There's another waterfall that way, so we're gonna go that way. Final thoughts on the waterfall? That thing made me wet, if you know oh, what I mean. Oh gosh. <laughs> what, I got wet. A lot of water. You're you gotta get your mind out of the gutter. There's my grave right there. This ain't it, mate. <laughs> Jason, he got us lost again. We'll they saw it. What's, what's the point of them? All on this air. Oh boy. Buddy, you got it. You gotta make a leap to here. Oh, wait, oh. oh wow. <laughs> I mean, it's a good spot for that, but... We were in this cave. Now we're out here. I'm fr I'm freaking cold, bro. It's just my hands. I'm fine. Yeah, but look at this. Look at this landscape. Oh my god. The ground feels like weird. I don't know. <laughs> This is just like the coolest thing right now. It's just so beautiful out. We're in Iceland. Like we're in Iceland right now. What? Falling off the way. Fast. And here comes Jamie. I mean, off the, cliff. the lighting's perfect, the sunset's perfect. Like everything is great right now. Life is freaking cool. I know. Sure. Life is pretty cool. Well, this is home for the night. Um, we're like, I don't know, sort of like the southeast, more in the south of Iceland. I think that it's more south. Um, sunset still looking good over there. And uh, yeah, just gonna hang out and make some dinner soon. 
We're eating some more pasta. Because <laughs> no, nah, we're having wieners. Wieners and pasta, maybe. Some pasta wieners. Some pasta wieners. Yeah, but uh, the views are out here. What? <laughs> what in the world is that? <laughs> He's happy to see you. <laughs> All right, people, dinner number three. We got pasta boiling. Well, the pasta's not in there yet, but boiling the water for it. Got some sauce. We're gonna have some wieners, beef hot dogs. We'll put them in the little skillet pan. Get that going. That's what we're doing tonight. Not as exciting of a view tonight, so I'm not gonna waste your time show you it unless you like looking at a playground in darkness but it is what it is deuces butane thing and it like actually boiled today it hot, it hot. <laughs> yeah it actually gets hot dinner is served pasta once again we love pasta out here <laughs> yeah Not bad for the van life. So, um, the northern lights were showing for about an hour, right? Yeah. Um, they were green and not super bright, so it wouldn't show up on this, but we took photos and I will add those in here. Well, I hope you like those lights that you just saw. Um, they didn't turn out super great in person, like like I said. But uh, yeah, um, we're at the end of another day. Um, we did a lot. Uh, we went in a hot spring. We ate some bread from the ground. Uh, saw some waterfalls, um, and then saw those lights. Um, Tomorrow's video should include a black sand um, beach, um, and then that's pretty much all that I can think of offhand, but uh, t today was a blast and we accomplished a lot, so I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, thanks for watching, and uh, come back for more. So. Peace out.